So, uh, Dojalisa, what's in the menu today? We got China FUD, Bitcoin price dropping, people wanna know what's happening. Uh, okay, next. You can now send Bitcoin through Twitter, people need to know more. Uh, pass. Next. There's games that let you earn Bitcoin for playing Bitcoin. Okay, Dojalisa, you got me. Which games can I play to earn Bitcoin? You watching the video right now, go down there and smack the like button in the face. In the face. Thank you, Dojalisa. I appreciate that. If you want to buy your own Dojalisa, links in the description. Crypto Canvas. With that being said, I know that you can play NFT games and earn cryptocurrency. Everybody knows that. But you usually earn their native in game currency that may or may not fall down in value. No one knows what's gonna happen. Like Axie Infinity went up in value and that was totally awesome. But then Draco Coin from Mir 4 totally plummeted down, which is totally not awesome. But games that let you earn Bitcoin? That's new, at least new to me. So there's two games in particular I wanna check out, but there will be honorary mentions throughout the video. And the first game we're gonna talk about is not free to play, it costs 15 bucks, but you can also pay in Bitcoin. Now I know that a lot of you watching want free to play games, so I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I will buy this game for five people by sending you Bitcoin in the value of the game so you can go and buy it and start earning Bitcoin and stack the sats. And all you have to do to enter is watch this video until the end, be a subscriber to this channel and go down there to leave a like. After you've done that, leave a comment on this video saying Doja Lisa. That's your ticket to win this game. I will pick the winners in a week from now, so next Friday. Without further ado, the first game we're gonna talk about is called Sat Bible. <laughs> so a survival, but with sats. So you get paid in Bitcoin for leveling up and for completing various tasks. And also it's kind of like an RPG survival game where you have attributes and you can customize your character. Look at my little guy right here. I can change his hair color. I can change his hairstyle. I can change his pants. I can change his skin. He can be green. Hell yeah. <laughs> I want a green pirate guy. I'm gonna give him two attributes for intelligence because my guy's intelligent. He buys the dip. You know what I mean? If at any point you want to see the other games or you want to see anything else that's inside of this video, there are timestamps down below and you can choose whatever you want to watch in this video so you don't have to watch chronologically but it is encouraged to watch chronologically right now let's try and explore the game our first objective is to collect three stones and then to craft and equip a sharp stone so just like any other survival game you need to eat you need to drink you have your energy you have your health i gotta say this game doesn't look too shabby it is a paid game, most of these games that I usually cover are free to play. This game doesn't look too shabby at all. The fact that I know from this game is that you can't get rich by playing it, but you can definitely earn a few bucks along the way just for having fun and playing around in a survival game. Did I just find someone's house? But he does have a workbench where he can like build stuff, okay well... Later in the game, obviously this is player built, I would guess, and I can probably make something similar on my own. I can see settlements all around the map, because th this is multiplayer after all. Who needs this many campfires? Why would anyone make this? Got a skeleton guy right here, uh, uh, he he's the merchant, so I can trade with him, I can uh, sell him my items. Obviously I don't have anything to sell, so I got a research table here to get some knowledge on more crafting recipes, I would guess, that's how it normally works. Yo, these guys are building a proper town. Down here look at this another settlement here hey look it's players and bad guys I don't have anything on me but I'm green like the Hulk so no worries oh these are all bad guys are they aggro at me are they gonna fight me oh yeah they're gonna fight me okay not good <laughs> okay I have aggroed a bunch of people can oh my god they do a lot of damage okay let's get out of here I need my stones man I also need to eat some food so I can catch a crab I've just got this crab and I got the raw crab meat now I would need to cook it in order to get the most nutritional benefits from it but what I can also do if I'm really hungry is just freaking eat it and when I eat it I guess I, yeah I lose health but I gain hunger fair trade if you ask me so apparently you can collect the grass or flowers yeah I'm kind of collecting everything down here uh, the flowers the grass the see what the hell I've collected oh I got some fiber yeah it's gonna be real useful later we're gonna need the fiber to create tools I guess and now I just need stones it's a beautiful house you got there buddy it's a beautiful house you got there why no doors though anybody can rob you here can I eat the flower for some reason I can't find the stones right now but here's what it looks like here's the 
a guy finding the stones and kind of creating everything and doing what needs to be done inside of the game in order to earn his satoshi so this guy stacks his, his sats and if you don't want to buy this game but you do want to play it you know what to do to enter the giveaway and i will just gift you the bitcoin to buy this game and then you can stack the sats on your own obviously this video is not sponsored by anybody so whenever i do these giveaways most of the time it's paid with my own money and all i ask from you in return is just to watch the full video that's all all I need in return and then I can pay for all these NFTs and all these giveaways and everything but basically if you want to play this game you need this elixir launcher I guess it's their launcher and from inside the game you can buy everything you, you have their own NFTs you have uh, the rewards well I have zero sats claimed because I've not really done anything in the game but this is where you would claim your sats they have their own NFT marketplace obviously with a bunch of different NFTs for various games so the next game we're taking a look at is called Light Knight, as I said, made by the same team. Also, when you play, you earn sats. Now, this game is more like Fortnite, but crypto. So we're just watching some YouTube gameplay from it. As you can see, this game obviously has NFTs, so a different cosmetic system than Set Bible. And I would guess all of these are NFT items that you can later on sell. And as far as I understood, if you invite your friends to play this game and they actually do for each five friends you invite, you will get a free premium skin. And once you go to play, you have various methods, various game modes you can play. So we have Deathmatch, it's a ranked PvP game where you battle it out. Deathmatch, usually what it is in other games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, you'll get spawned 16 versus 16, 8 versus 8, really depends on the game and the server. And basically you start shooting each other and the team that gets the most kills after a certain period of time wins. After you die, you respawn in a deathmatch. So you can play in a team or you can play solo deathmatch, which is also cool. Hopefully in the future they will add a battle royale mode like Fortnite. I've read somewhere they already have, but looking from this video, I don't see a Battle Royale mode, I see a... Well, right now he's playing a Pandemic sort of mode, I don't even want to pronounce what he's playing right now, because I don't want this video to get demonetized, but basically he's playing against the viruses and shooting them, and yeah, he has a HODL backpack. The shooting looks pretty satisfying, the graphics look very similar, probably the same engine as Sat Vival, and as I mentioned in Sat Vival before, uh, this is not a game that's gonna make you rich, but it is a game that is fun to play and is also earning you some satoshis along the way and you're not actually getting paid in their native cryptocurrency but you get paid in bitcoin which is something you never see in games it's just these games that i have found for right now i've not seen that in any other game and it is super impressive it's also very important to have games like this. A lot of people don't want to get a random cryptocurrency, they want to stack SAS, they want to get the Bitcoin, and this is just one of the ways to make earning Bitcoin fun. But basically he destroys wave after wave, as you can see in the right upper corner below his map, he has uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds remaining. He has killed 8 particles and got 240 score from that. As you can see the leaderboard, uh, like the first guy got 38,000 points. I would probably get a lot more points if I played this. And as for special rewards, your score is too low to qualify for a reward, try harder. So the more you play, the better you play, the more rewards you're gonna get and the more sats, aka Bitcoin, you're gonna get. Alright, this guy is a much better player, it's the same game mode, but let's see how many rewards he got and what his score needed to be in order to actually get paid from the game. Alright, after successfully beating them, he got a score of 10,051. It's not too shabby at all, considering the number 5 has only uh, 12,000, almost 13,000, so there's just 3,000 points more than our guy right here. And apparently our guy right here has reached the maximum rewards quota, please try again later, so he probably already took out rewards before uh, doing this gameplay so that's a shame we're not, we're not gonna find, find out what we wanted now so if we go to his launcher right here as you can see Satoshi Games the publisher of Set Vival and Light Knight has uh, many games not just these two so he has the sad shooter game he has the holder defense we got lightning strike which looks like a first person shooter game we got Zombie Hodler, which is a 2D zombie shooter for uh, 295. So if I if you win the giveaway and I send you the money you need for Set Vival, maybe you can also use that Bitcoin to buy a bunch of these other games, and maybe just maybe you're gonna earn more than if you played Set Vival. So I don't know if that's a thing but i would very much like to find out if you can earn more just by playing these smaller games like zombie holder hodler 
uh, lightning strike set survival and hodler defense hodler defense looks also very cool it's like a tower defense game as far as i can tell yeah defend your base it's a tower defense game and then set shooter and lightning strike are both first person shooters as far as i can tell but we also got sugar sats which is a candy crush type of game that's also made from the same studio satoshi's game so it probably works the same way you also get paid in sats or in bitcoin whenever you clear levels level up etc etc so whenever you can earn some rewards they give you the rewards in sats and not in game items most of the time but you also do get in game in game items in, in games like light knight where you get free premium nft drops from time to time but basically these are these were the honorary mentions but i do want to thank you for watching if you've made it till the end of the video it's either you're interested in all these games or you just want to win the bitcoin giveaway either way i appreciate you sticking around until the end again if you want to enter the giveaway leave a comment saying this down there in the comment section of this video don't forget to like the video and be subscribed because in, if you're not then you can't enter the giveaway thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time peace